ecoholics in this video we'll be discussing about the state of indian economy on the eve of independence so in this video we'll be learning how under the british rule are different sectors such as agriculture industrial and the international trade of our indian economy was exploited under the british government or the british rule so how the different uh, sectors of the indian economy was targeted and exploited under the british rule the first sector is our agricultural sector second sector is our industrial sector and the third sector is our international trade sector so indian economy was subject to colonial exploitation and this colonial exploitation led to targeted exploitation of all these three sectors moving forward let's understand this one by one we'll first be understanding what is the meaning of the zamindari system to understand how the british government or how under colonial exploitation agricultural sector was exploited so zamindari system is a system of land revenue first thing it is a system of land revenue that worked through middlemen who were the middlemen known as they were known as zamindars and uh, and these zamindars were an intermediary intermediary meaning the middlemen between the colonial government and the peasants so basically in zamindari system there were three people involved the government zamindars and the peasants it is a system of land revenue zamindars were the middlemen these people collected the revenue from the peasants and then they gave it to they give this revenue to the government i hope the zamindari system is clear to all of you in the next slide we'll be learning how the agricultural sector got exploited so the agri the exploitation uh, of the agricultural sector was done through the zamindari system as you all know zamindari system is the system of land revenue and the zamindars were declared the owners of the land this is the piece of land and the owners are the zamindars now they were supposed to pay the government fixed sum these zamindars were to give the government fixed amount sum some kind of revenue okay so these people extracted uh, the revenue from the peasants from the farmers so farmers they worked on this piece of land which was owned by the zamindars the zamindars exploited these farmers and they basically gathered all the revenue and then they paid the sum to the government now the tailors got the bare minimum tailors who are tailors tailors are the farmers and the zamindars spent the revenue on the luxuries of life little or little or no investment was done for the development of agriculture. agricultural sector so how the exploitation of agricultural sector was done it was basically done through the zamindari system in which the zamindars were supposed to pay the government some fixed amount of uh, revenue and these people exploited the peasants or the farmers and they were given the bare minimum very little uh, amount was given to the farmers and these zamindars they got a uh, nice revenue and they used to spend these revenues on the luxuries of life so this was uh, how the exploitation of agricultural sector took place let's move on and understand how the industrial sector was exploited under the british rule so before the britishers came our indian uh, handicraft market was very famous it was known for its variety and quality but when the britishers came and when we were uh, under the colonial rule our handicraft market was completely destroyed how because the foreign demand for our handicraft were destroyed by putting heavy duties on export if we wanted to export something the government or the british government had put very a uh, huge lump sum amount of export duties on this goods so our foreign demand was destroyed so our domestic demand was destroyed by the duty free import of british goods so if you wanted to import something from uh, say uh, outside our country from foreign country that was very easy but if you wanted to send something from our country to the foreign country it was very difficult so let's move on and understand how the industrial trade got exploited so what basically happened there were 
a very little amount of export duty or there was duty free our export of raw materials from our country to foreign country was duty free so what basically happened uh, the raw materials from our country was being exported duty free without any hindrances to the foreign country for their development purpose or to make some finished goods so we were left with very few of the raw materials also uh, there was duty free import of british goods from the from their country to our country okay so if i wanted to uh, get something i could get it for uh, i would get it duty free okay so what basically happened these people created uh, the market demand for their goods in our country and they basically drained out the raw material from our country to their country leading to exploitation of international trade because we uh, because this international trade drained our raw materials and they created market demand for their goods in our country india so all this exploitation of all these three sectors the agricultural sector the industrial sector and the trade sector led to the stagnant and the backwardness of indian economy so our industrial sector was uh, destroyed or exploited by putting heavy duties of our exports and the domestic demand for our goods was destroyed by uh, duty free imports of the foreign goods now our international trade sector was also destroyed in the similar way the duty free exports of raw materials and the duty free imports of the british goods to our indian economy so this is how the exploitation was done so i'll see you in the next class if you like this video please share and subscribe to our channel ecoholics thank you